So this is the rough character that we want to draw and this is the end product. What I'm going to do is take you through the series of steps you need to do this. We'll make a new document and I'm going to work in 4K or 3840 by 2160 and the reason for this is that you'll get a much nicer brush. If your image is smaller the brush might come out a bit clumpy. So let's just call this one alien new. Click OK and I'm going to select my brush tool. I already have a bunch of presets here that I like to use. And again, if you're not familiar with uh, brushes, you have many brushes in your version of the program. If you have a favorite, use that. I'm going to use uh, this one here. Now, what we do not do is what I just did there and begin drawing our character on the background. Mistake. Uh, what we want to do is go make a new group, call it Alien. We'll make a new layer in here and we'll start drawing. So the first step will be pick the brush we like. I like this one. Uh, I'm going to make the opacity 66. That way you get a, a nicer line weight. You can build it up more like a natural brush. Now I'm not going to completely copy the original that you saw. I'm just going to start drawing a new figure. So this is a more of a gesture drawing, so I shouldn't get too lost uh, tying it down too much. Let's just get the pose right. Okay, something like that. I'm going to flip it horizontally as a quick test of the pose. Looks fine. And let's have the alien looking up this way. Maybe he's a little worried about something. So a bit of an eyebrow. Okay, now I can go in and maybe tie it down a bit. I'm going to make a new layer. I want to make sure I don't get confused with the lower layer. I'm going to call this one the uh, gesture. And let's make that layer blue. Uh, in color and then go blending options and we'll make it a color overlay and make it blue as well. And now I'm going to do the tie down here. Zoom in a bit. Now if you feel like your brush is still a little too much we can always make this bigger. You can go image size and we could make it say double this. And now I can still draw with that jaggy brush but it's much cleaner relative to the size of the document. So I'm just going to continue doing that. Now you might feel that the opacity of the brush is too low, so if you want you can go a bit darker. You could go all the way to 100, but you'll find that with many brushes it gets a little too too dark. Um, and I, I like these rougher line styles. They kind of stop me from getting a little precious about it. Now I'm not going to go into much of my drawing theory on this. I already have a course in the LinkedIn or Linda libraries about that, which you can find the link in the notes below. Um, but this will really show you the process that I use in terms of how to create the line relative to the colors and all that. Let me zoom out a bit. And I think that's a little dark. I'm going to go back to the closer to that 66%. I was getting a much nicer uh, feel on the line there. I hit Control Z every time I want to undo anything, which happens a lot. Okay, so now we have something that looks like a cartoon character. One last little touch I'm going to do is just a color separation on the neck area. Because we're going to give him clothes. In the next movie, we will see how to add color.